on. Okay, today's going to be a fun one. Uh, this brother is an extremely talented and funny brother. I love having, I love having these conversations with comedians. Um, and I don't want to just classify him as a comedian because he's a writer, he's an actor. He's also an incredible stand-up comedian. Uh, please give it up because this is just going to be fun today. Give it up to my man, Doug Williams. Doug, welcome, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me, man. Uh, I have to admit, this was a uh, pleasant surprise, man. Uh, when my wife uh, told me, you know, you and I connected through my wife and my brother-in-law. So, you know, I was out on the road traveling. So when they told me that uh, you wanted to do this interview, man, uh, I got really excited about it. So, you know, because uh, you family. So this is going to be fun, like you said. Nah, it's going to be fun, man. And I definitely wanted to sit down with you. And I'm going to tell you, I, I, I literally had a, 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 a conversation with Alex Thomas not too long ago, who obviously you're familiar with. Of being course, out on of the course. Coast. And that was one of the most fun conversations that I have had since I started doing this. And, you know, I'm, I'm just looking for that same energy because it's something about being around people who are just naturally freaking funny. Like, just funny. Like, I, I almost can't even imagine what it's like in your household with your wife and in your family, have you believe it or not, been a funny dude? No, man, believe it or not, comedians are normally the opposite at home and around me. We, we're some of the most depressed, uh, <laughs> angry, uh, upset people you ever want to meet in the confines of our own home and around our own people. You know, it's almost like, you know, we perform so much and we're on all the time that we need pl a, a, a place to just unwind, to just let everything go, to let everything out. So, uh, you know, at home and around uh, my family, they, they would give you a different version of me. You know, he's mean, he's, uh, he's, he's cranky, he's upset. So it, 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 people don't realize how different we are off stage as opposed to when we're on stage. And I, I equate on stage with being on these interviews, performing, and just being in, in front of the public. Yo. You just blew my mind with that. You're telling me if I'm a fly on the wall in your crib, you ain't cracking jokes, you ain't got a thousand punchlines, you don't have your family rolling 24 nah, hours a day? It's the opposite, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if this, uh, if, if you can use profanity on here, but I'm- Absolutely, I'm, feel free. I'm, I'm telling you, look, motherfucker, Go over here. I'm trying. Uh, hey, my, you know, I was just into it with my son last night, man, trying to get him to do homework. And and the crazy thing about it is, is that my kids don't take me serious. They think everything I do is funny. So even when I'm being serious and I'm trying to get on to them, they're laughing and joking and 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 you know I have to uh, uh, reel them in, man. Like, look, motherfucker, I'm I'm, I'm not playing, man. I'm serious, man. <laughs> do your homework get off the phone do this do that you know and, so, and you know my father used to always say when you're dealing with someone you have to speak the language that they understand and all my kids really understand they don't listen until i start saying motherfucker and cursing that's the language that they understand you know so you know that's 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 their language and, I, and unfortunately i have to speak it to them a lot oh man you, you know something how, how how did you even get into comedy? Is this something that you've always wanted to do with your life? You know, I always wanted to be uh, an entertainer. Just from going, I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama in the South and watching, uh, going to the uh, Baptist church. And you know, Baptist preachers and preachers in the South, they're entertainers, man. They come and they, you know, they get to, and you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, we study now a lot with the Jehovah's Witness. That's a whole nother story in itself. Uh, but but I come from the Baptist church. So we took my my kids for the first time. I mean, they, they went back to Montgomery, Alabama with me when they were young. But now they're older, they're teenagers. And we took them to the original church uh, that I grew up in. And they, you know, and when you go to, you know, the Kingdom Hall for people who are Jehovah's Witnesses out there, it's very serene. They don't do anything that draws attention away from what they're trying to say. But in the process, you know, you have to be alert or you can be, you know, fall off, doze off, become bored, you know. 
but it's not like that in the Baptist church. So anyway, we took them there and we had some older brothers in there going, well, say it again. They started looking around and they heard the talking and they, and they couldn't believe it, man. And so they were just blown away by the interaction between the preacher and the congregation. You know, when he says something, you know, people catching the Holy Ghost and moving and they had never seen anything like that, man. And they were just blown away by it. So it was just, it was a different experience for them to go to the Baptist church and people out there in the South and the church people, they know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Somebody started doing this, you know, and then there's always an older woman that'll come in for sisters and grab their glasses. So they destroy their glasses, you know, they take their glasses off, they start taking stuff off of them. So, you know, it won't fall and break. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.